Universal Analytics offers a range of behavior reports, including all pages, landing pages, site speed reports, and exit pages, which helps to understand what's happening once the visitor arrives on the website. However, the GA4 engagement reports provide a different perspective on how people engage with the site content. So let's dive into this directly. In the engagement overview, you will find all of these default reports. At the top, you'll find the average amount of time an active user engages with the platform, the average number of sessions per active user, and the average duration of a single session all will show data for this selected time period and then you will see this user in the last 30 minutes section where you can see the total number of users in the last 30 minutes and also the user per minute breakdown and we can also see top pages and screens here which tells the top performing landing pages by users so we can see whether users are mostly engaging with like home pages at 60 and then we have all these other landing pages moving further we have views and event counts so here we can see total views in that specific date range and then the total event count. So it contains all the events here. If we count all of these events, then this number will come up to 2.1 million. And then we can see views by page title. So here we are looking at the total number of views as per this date range, but at the top, we were looking at the real time data. So this is the difference between these two. And then we have user activity over time where we can track the number of users on that specific day and prior to seven days and prior to 30 days from that specific date. So this could be helpful to understand like how many number of users are visiting every day and if there is a big shift in the seven day or a 30 day window so these three lines can help you determine and actually give you information around user activity over time and then we have user stickiness which is a measure of engagement by active users over a shorter period of time compared to their engagement over a longer period this can help determine how effectively users are retained over time and with higher ratios indicating strong engagement and retention and we can see these three lines as well just to compare like if the ratio is going above or not like here the weekly to monthly ratio is 28.1 percent versus here it was 16.2 percent so it's increasing which is a good sign so the higher the ratio which the better it is and it indicates the stronger engagement and better retention all right so let's look at the event report now so these are the events that you are sending from a website to google analytics this includes automatic events such as page views and scrolls as well as any custom event that you have implemented but these custom events like view item list must be specifically added to your website by you or your developer so later in these tutorial videos i'll guide you how to set up these conversions and then measure the performance here now let's focus on conversions where you'll find the actions taken by users such as making a purchase or subscriptions or something that you have marked as conversions here you can also see the conversion related charts and the performance of each conversion in this table and if you like to add a second dimension you can do this from here and if you want to customize this report then that can be possible as well like we discussed in our earlier video then we have this pages and screen with this report you can determine which pages on your website are most popular among visitors you can also view statistics such as the number of users number of views and more and if you're interested in looking at the page path or content grouping then you can do this using this drop down all right so that's on the engagement side so now let's move to the monetization report 